Good morning. We are here in Beaver Creek. I have Elaine Laurent with me, one of the artists here at the 32nd Beaver Creek Arts Festival. Good morning. Good morning. I know, 32 years here. Wow. I know, that has to be right almost from the start of Beaver Creek. Yes, it is. And we have a, several shows that are over 30 years that we've been doing. I was going to say, how long have you been doing these shows? Um, this is my, I think, fourth year doing it. Okay. Yeah. Great, great. I love it. So my four, I think it's my third or fourth tour for the Colorado Tour because we have four shows. So now, I love talking to Elaine because she's got some really fun, funky art and it's totally usable for your home too. It's more than just to look at. It's functional art. It's functional art. Yeah, it has a exactly. good function and it's fun. So tell me about this piece you have here. So um, my uh, record purses have been a big hit and what it is, this is a real 45 and it, I think it's Tom Petty. Um, and so they're all epoxied on a cigar box, which is fun. And this is all Swarovski crystals and they're lined beautifully, little mirrors, everything. And then this just carries over the shoulder, so it's kind of fun. But you can leave it out as a decorative piece. You can use it for a jewelry box. I mean, they're just, they've been such a fun thing. I would want to have that on my coffee table and probably use that just as a little, like, something to talk about when people came over, or even a jewelry box, because even the inside, the way you have it lined is just it's, so beautiful. We have people that leave them out with mints during parties, and what a conversation piece it is. Hey, I remember that record, or where'd you get this? It's just a great conversation piece. Absolutely. And then also for your library, or your den or anywhere really you have these so cool lamps the man cave lamp yes, yes. <laughs> so these are actually all one connected unit and then the boxes are going to open so the gentleman can put stuff in there and each one is different how it operates and even the base is open so they're a lot of fun they're um all one of a kind and then they're extremely durable they're man cave safe <laughs> i love the fact that okay by itself it looks so cool, but then the add on top of that, the fact that it's functional, and then when you start opening the boxes, that like starts to blow your mind how cool that is. Yeah, all the little fun compartments to hide things. And it's funny because I started doing these without the bottles maybe uh, 15, 16 years ago, and they didn't open. And I don't know why or how it started, but I kind of started adding the bottles and then realizing that we need to have little compartments in these. We need to make them more fun. So they've been a big hit. Um, and a lot of people pick what they drink, and then a lot of people pick just by the look of the bottle and the lamp. So it's kind of fun that way. That is really cool. And I love the fact I was talking to you before about how if you have a family bottle of something, you know, maybe it's that um, special whiskey bottle that a grandfather has handed down or a special, you know, wine bottle or something that was from the birth or, uh, you know, from a special family event, how you can take that and do something cool with it for a family. Yes, I've done everything from the um, anniversaries, um, even people on vacations, like a vacation of a lifetime and they get a bottle in the um, the duty-free places and yeah. then they bring it back and get it engraved and then they finish it and then we make a lamp out of it. So it's kind of fun. Same thing with the records. People have done their favorite song, their wedding song, all kinds of fun stuff with the records. Absolutely. I never thought of that, but that does work for the records to a yeah. wedding song or something like that. And not only that, again, as we were saying, it's just such a fun conversation piece. So everyone can find you here today and they can ask you questions, which is so cool about this art festival is the artist is here to tell you all about everything. And you're going to be here till five o'clock today, correct? Yes. And we're also here tomorrow, 10 to five. And then we will be in downtown Frisco on Main Street next weekend. If you have any questions, you can go to artfestival.com. It'll give you all the information. And we're also adding some new shows for next year's Colorado tour. We're going from four to six. So make sure that you check artfestival.com for all the information for next year as well. Perfect. Stay with us. We're going to have a local look at your weather next.